Yeah, um, I just heard Marius Wack got busted for steroids, rude boy. Any thoughts on that? Boy, you know, I really got the inside information, yeah, from Chris Bird, yeah. He says some of the elite um, heavyweights are taking anabonic steroids, taking PD. So, uh, boy, I'm not surprised. Um, Marius Wack, I'm surprised about him, like, you know, because yeah. to be honest with you, he's conditioning. You know, he didn't look all that, and he looked like a chin. He didn't look like... He would need it, but obviously, you know, I was wrong in it. I mean, it, that's probably why he stood up for all them rounds for so long. So, well, it probably it helped him out in some way. Uh, did you know what the steroid did, or which it was anabolic stuff? But what, what well, the it wasn't was no the diuretic, and it wasn't no weight loss thing. Anabolic steroids. What does that do? That's what bodybuilders used to use in it. Steroids. I mean, yeah, I know. But what's it do for you in terms of helping you in the boxing? Uh, it makes you strong, isn't it? So far as I know, the steroids in it make you strong. It, it, which aspect, like which it makes? I'm, I'm not just questioning it. Uh, it um, cha- I'm not it's quite sure. Stamina, but it's what? an it's an enhancer. I, Enhan- I'm not quite sure how, but it's it's yeah. That, because that's... you know, because because obviously everyone, I know we could say obviously steroid, but yeah, I'm I'm thinking obviously you know maybe maybe yeah because it's in stamina wise yeah. I mean, you probably walk up probably had a good chin. You can't put steroids in your chin, so it probably helped with his conditioning, getting him through the rounds. Recent, his last recent fights were knockouts. Yeah, yeah. Going yeah, into yeah, going yeah, into the Klitschko yeah. fight is what I'm saying, and um, and you know, obviously, you know, he, he probably felt he needed that to give get him over, but yeah. you know, him him getting caught. To be honest with you, Chris, Chris Berger he highlighted that some elite heavyweights are using it, and this is just this is just confirmed that um, I'm 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 shocked in a way, but. Well, I'm not sure, because um, we've got the inf- inf- information already. So yeah, well, we have to discuss this, like because um. I don't want to really do it, but is there a case to say, how are these guys getting so big? How have they just all of a sudden just dominated the division? Is I'm not I'm not asking you to commit, but is there a case to question there how the the Soviet Union and Eastern Bloc countries have got such big heavyweights all of a sudden? <laughs> From Rocky Four, <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't, I don't, I've no, you know, to be honest with you, it's, it's rampant all over boxing. I don't think it's it's uh. It's a race thing. I think it's just a it's just it's just it's just a cheating thing. I mean, they take t- guys are taking it because you know to to get them over to get them better. It's dangerous as well. You know what I mean, you could have killed someone in the ring. Every time this happens, it's validated. Mayweather and Jeff did say that he's when his legacy is the one. He's the one who outed to outed people cheating. Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather was the one to do it. So and obviously they must have, maybe they used um Usada. Yeah, and that was probably probably because Floyd Mayweather was so adamant about about all these fighters taking it that the Klitschko said yeah okay yeah. we're, we're going we're gonna to make other fighters take it as well so yeah. that's why I wanted to clear that up mm. and um yeah anabolic steroid that's a blatant enhancer you couldn't get a more generic enhancer that, that's what you mean Ivan Drago <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah I'm saying you know what I mean like um, with Peterson that was um, testosterone imbalance wasn't it yeah right definitely. Yeah, and um, um, Andre Berto, they they he didn't even have enough um, traceable amounts to throw him under the bus. You get what I'm saying? But, yeah. Um, yeah. This guy's A sample came back positive, and the B sample is ready to come back, and it's not looking good. <laughs> that's, what, that's, that's why it's not looking good. It's not. Would you reckon? Good. Um, so, what course of action? Would, would you reckon um, the German board, the boxing board, to take? Yeah, well, he could have killed Vladimir in there, couldn't he? He could have yeah. killed him. I mean, that that's a blatant enhancer. He could have. So not... Yeah. So, what do you reckon? What what discipline do you reckon they should do to him? Um, I think the higher your contest is, and the higher level you get, the more responsibility you have to be an example to the game. They have to make an example of this guy. You know, he was fighting for the heavyweight championship of the world. So I reckon at least a two year suspension. How long did how long was when Berto got caught? How long was he out for? Oh, not that long. It was a few months. So I don't know if that's why should, fair. Why should Bert, Berto get a few months? Why should Vok? Why should Vok get a few months? You know, you know we can all sit in, sit in judgment and this and that. But the thing is, money rules the day, and then then um, you know. I don't know. They, they, you know, he could say, I don't know what they're going to come out with, but we we'll see. I mean, if the world awaits to see what's happening, but I won't be surprised if if Berto got a couple of months, then we have a couple of months for him as well. Yeah, I won't be surprised. Well, you know what I mean, well, I suppose so. 
I'm you know not, what I'm saying? Because he got you, that's the argument there. You're yeah, a couple, of months, a, couple of then, a couple of months then, a couple of months. Yeah. Or just a fine, you know what I mean? Like, I, 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 I've said all along, this isn't a big deal. This is a part of society where people cheat to think. So I'm not upset about it. I was just um, being provocative when I said that because the higher uh, um, the level you go up and um, the more profile your contest, then the more um, attention is going to come to the game and bad attention. So mm -hmm. I'm not sure if they should make an example of him. But no, on the basis of um, cheating, cheating is cheating. So if Berto got a few months, then he should get a few months and he should, he should get a little fine and then come back to work. But then again, why did Larry um, Olabamiwo, I don't know if I butchered the name, how come he, he got so much time? I know he took about 12 different ones, but cheating is cheating, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> maybe, maybe it's, it's that. It's because he took 12 different ones and, and maybe it was the first one, but now they realise it's rampant over the sport. They've cut down because Enzo McInerney, he took it and he was back in work within four months. And then they go, you know what I mean? Dillian White. I mean, we're going to try and find, follow up on the Dillian White story. And also, we're going to try and follow up on Roger, um, Jeff Mayweather and see what he has to say. Yeah. And some other boxers. So, we're not just going to leave this space. And now we're going to actually no. go into so, ask other boxers from, from here on onwards. How do they feel about it? And, and continue to, to press other boxers on, 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 on what they feel. Because they, they, they know that um, the mainstream media is yeah. hiding this stuff. And, you know, when, when, when we talk to um, Chris Bird, the we, 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 we are master jewel. We yeah, unearthed yeah, the jewel yeah, right there yeah, yeah, because yeah. we was just there. I mean, the question you, when you asked Beats at the time, it was just like, oh, you didn't expect the answer what we got, was you? No. And then now, now, it's, now it's come to fruition. So now, we, we, you know, we had the scoop a month, a month before. Yeah. So now this is happening. This is, like I'm saying, I'm not too surprised, but we're actually, from this point onwards, we're probably going to go into it in depth a bit more. Yeah. Which is how much the fighters when we interview them. You see, but and the thing, yeah, that's right. You know, we have to, we, we're gonna have to talk to some poor people going to depth and really discuss, you know, what's happening with this drug um, epidemic in boxing, where the demographics are. are certain countries doing more than other, like our America doing more than Russia, our Russia doing more than the UK, where the problem source. Um, well, they said the Philippines was a big source of um, where uh, yeah. a certain PED was coming from. And the thing is, we know what Marius Wok is going to do. He's going to come out with his excuse. He might not say bad meat like Morales, but he's going to have his excuse. What fighter yet has owned up? Yeah. Yeah. You know, he's yeah. going he, I mean, to have his excuse um, ready. And, you know, and boxing continues. I think, like we say, we'll we'll talk to some more people, and we're going in depth on that one a little more. Mm -hmm. And you know what I mean. All right, then, fam. Big yourself up still. Later on. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Peace. Cool. No problem. <laughs>